So whenever you eat anything, um, after a certain amount of time, the stomach says, okay, we're done digesting stuff, time to release it uh, to the other parts of the GI tract for absorption. Uh, now what happens sometimes if the nerves get disrupted and it slows down, that's what gastroparesis is. So it's a slowing down essentially of the emptying of the stomach. It mainly affects more women than men. So if you get a room of 100,000 people, uh, approximately 38 of them of female uh, will have gastroparesis. Men, it's about 10 of the 100,000 will have it. There is a big link to diabetes. So if you're someone who's diabetic and has difficulty controlling the sugars, you're at risk for developing this disease. Um, but other things, you know, certain medications, pain medications can slow down the GI tract. Uh, but most of the time, we actually never find a reason for it. And so a lot of people, they'll come into the office and they'll have these profuse symptoms of nausea, vomiting, they'll lose a lot of weight and they'll say, this is just, I, I can't do anything. I can't enjoy food, even the smell of it makes it worse. Uh, and so usually we do a couple of testings. We always want to make sure it's not from a blockage or, or a cancer of anything. So we go down with a camera all the way down the mouth into the stomach, make sure everything's normal. And if that looks normal, we actually have a specific test called an emptying study. So usually you'll eat like an, an egg is what they usually use, um, or some liquid, and they'll basically measure how long it takes for your stomach to get rid of it. And if it looks like, you know, after three or four hours, a lot of the food is still in your stomach, that's how you come up with diagnosis of gastroparesis. So think about your stomach is uh, very, very sluggish, and so you don't want to overload it. You want to kind of spread your meals into small, tiny things, so five or six meals a day, so that we don't lose calories and don't lose weight. Um, certain foods we eat, like fatty, fried, cheeses, um, they cause the stomach to slow down anyway because it's very complex to digest that stuff. So we say avoid that stuff. Um, sodas, because a lot of times the soda will just sit there, the carbonation will happen, and you get a lot of belching, it's very, very uncomfortable. If that doesn't work, there are certain medicines uh, that we use to try and help with things. There's a lot of development going into it because a lot more people are starting to get diagnosed with it. Part of that's from a lot of the increase in numbers of diabetes that we're seeing now. So the big thing is when you have this information and you have all these symptoms is go and see your doctor early and letting them know. Uh, and then usually they will work up some basic things before sending you to a specialist to kind of take a look at things.